Hell yeah. Hello again, fellow YouTubers. Psalm Pleasant here, so... I'm back. Yay. Anyway, so... Never thought I'd be doing one of these again, but... Felt nostalgic, decided to play this, and... As I was going through the versus mode, my file was just like, Hey, guess what? You don't get to save anymore, so... As a matter of fact, I might as well, uh... Get to that right there. So I better save that. So... I decided, why not go back and play this again? So, I then answered myself by saying, there is no reason why you can't do that. And I thought, well, I don't want to put too much effort into, like, a video right away. You want to get back into it gracefully. So, why don't we do that? So, let's play something nostalgic. Let's play Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Shout out to all those people who actually remember this game. Uh, there's no real set time limit, so let's just get into it. And I'm going to turn the volume up just so that people can hear. Because I don't got subtitles for this. Volume's actually pretty good on this. I'll try to comment when I want, but I'll just let the story blow. Oh, that's a great start. Mmm. Look at that goldenness during this. You, you can tell this was a product of the time. So I can assure you that right now. So... Yeah, there's not much really dialogue here, I don't think. Nah. So we start off as the thing. So... Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects was... Created back in the day. I think in like the early 2000s and... Yeah, you look at this game, you can tell this is a product of the times, but whereas some people like to bash this game, I prefer to actually think of it as a fun game. I d okay. Hmm. Ah, look at that enemy. Hmm, looks fantastic. Yeah, you can punch things, you can pick things up, you can do shenanigans. Maybe one day I'll actually get some friends over and maybe do like a... Just a play of us beating the crap out of each other, so I can throw... A Hey, hey, who said you could live? No, no, I'm not allowed. <laughs> and it's Nectar's Brace. Anyway, yep, punch that. So, this pretty much is a fighter game at first, which is, it's only a two-player fighter, actually. And the story mode is something to be desired, but... What I really love about this game is not going to be shown right away, but the Imperfects, Imperfects especially, which will be shown in uh, probably a later episode if I actually make this thing. That thing didn't stand a chance. One thing about these early level enemies, they don't stand a chance against you. Okay, what else? Alright, so... Yeah, I just punched that. Mm. So enough of me, let's just get into the game, I guess. Hey, our first boss fight. Did you guys say it? Okay. It's time. Is it? Alright, I never would have guessed. Anyway. So the thing is a much beefier character than some of the other characters we'll see, and this prep mostly a Marvel game. Oh my god, I have a truck. Beep beep! Prime does not like you. Anyway. <clears throat> Why am I shoot? I am off my game with this kind of material. Anyway. So, mainly this is a Marvel... This is mostly made up of Marvel characters, but you'll see some other characters. Ooh, already in the danger zone. Let's see if I can do my special move, because I do remember this the move set. Yep. This is... It does have a fatality complex as well, and... It has ripped off a bunch of games, but this is a fun game for us. That was easy. How do we know it's not a bug? Nothing. You are not what we want. Yes. We will come for you. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna. 
This is a News 12 special report. New York City under attack from oh, no. the forces. We join Claire Strauss live on the scene. Another classic day for the Avengers. I'm sure that the Avengers will easily stop this. Hey, look, there's one now. Okay, this got serious. Oh, there goes the Punisher. Okay, yep, this was definitely made before the Avengers. Otherwise, there goes that hype. Because, oh yeah, that. That's a thing. Yeah, Rise of the Imperfects. You'll see the Imperfects later, and I will say, even though EA Games, like, designed the Imperfect characters, I really like their designs, but... Got it covered, Storm. Over and out. So there's that. Anyway, so you'll see the Avengers Lair. Hey, I got a card, Yami. I get a gold star. So, anywho, um, let's try to complete the things missions. Let's just. I, I, I don't. This is a game where you can choose which parts you go to at what point, so. I don't exactly know how to go about it, so I'm just gonna do whatever. I'm gonna just start by completing the Things missions, because I know each character has a certain amount of missions, and you're good with it. They can throw enemies, you can throw objects, and actually, depending on your character's strength, certain characters can lift up cars, others can't. Certain characters can only lift up certain items, others can't, so... Camera movement's a little bit off, but... up oh, there you are! Oh, okay. Boom! Each person has their own normal attack, their own special... Hello! Oh, look, a helicopter. What do helicopters do in every movie, kids? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I might as well explain something, so... This right here would actually be one of the fighting arenas arenas in the versus mode, but once you get past, like, this area right here... Okay, explosions are not going to be my friend today. And I trusted you, Michael Bay. I trusted you in a lot of things. Yep. Yeah, enemies at first are kind of easy, but trust me, they're, they're going to get harder to me. My god. Oh. That didn't do much. That also did not do much. Now I remember this game as a kid, and I remember having some hard missions and some easy missions. This was... this was an average mission. Of course, looking back on this game, there are some funny moments, like how these enemies ragdoll. <laughs> Look at how they ragdoll. Nope. And, they die, and the invaders die really easily. Now, another thing I noticed is I don't actually think you can kill yourself in this way. But there are places where you can jump off and ring out and all that kind of fun stuff, and... Oh, good. More enemies. So, I'm just gonna... No. no. Get a shield. Normal punch. Which, with the thing, that's kinda... Nope! <laughs> oh, yeah, this. Mechanic. Alright, there's also a mechanic known as Rage, so when that fire meter gives gets up there high enough, you get Rage, and what that lets you do is, it lets you perform your... When you hold down R while pressing A, you can basically do these kind of special attacks, same thing with RX, a special type of throw. That, that of course, is only with, so I'm just going to do a special throw here. There goes that. And it basically just lets... Because the yellow bar indicates, like, the... Yeah. Not sure if he's gonna... No, he's not. Okay. The yellow bar indicates, like, how much you can use of your special attacks, whereas the upper bar can kind of do your health and all that stuff. Part of me just hates talking like this because I feel like I'm just gonna say too much and sound like a blabbermouth. But! Ooh, okay. Another special with the thing. So I'm just gonna be doing missions with the thing, which I don't think relate to the story, while I explain this game just a little bit. But don't worry, we'll get into story at some point. I can assure you. Oh, I think we're in the NY's New York City streets. You're about 
going to have a bad day. It's bothering time. Yeah, starting out with the thing was actually a very interesting move on this game's part. Now, a lot of people bash EA games, but some of my favorite games are actually from EA games, like, uh, Everything or Nothing, and, uh, the 007 Everything or Nothing, this game, uh, I'm not sure what else, yay, I did something, rule in this game, anything that looks alien, kill it, kill it with fire, again, you can pick up stuff, I'm just gonna, that didn't do much, let's just see if I can, BAM! I'm just gonna take this souvenir with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, catch that! Punch! Is that gonna blow up? Yep. <laughs> I can also do this, so... Batter up! Oh. Ooh! I'm gonna throw it before it blows up! Yes! Such carnage! You miss. Yes, the thing can squash things like other things, like a bug. Like all these little guys. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh. No. Oh, there's that rage meter again. Rage meter equals infinite special attacks, so for characters that can fire missiles, kind of like uh, some characters coming up here, Basically says infinite ammo is what rage basically lets you do. It does it only for a short time, but for that time you're pretty much unstoppable. Unless the person you're fighting is bad. Oh no souvenir, can I pick up this trash can? Oh yes, I'm taking this with me. You guys suck. Oh, you want me to play catch? I'll play catch with you. Oh wow, this is just highly unfair. Boom. Catch that. I think that was the title of this level. I have no originality. Anyway. I keep saying anyway a lot. I should not do that. Oh, I see where the... Hmm. Getting, get, getting covered by at least four or five different individuals, which I'm assuming are men in the NYC streets? This can only end in good things. Like with me, taking their wallets. All oh, your wallets are mine. The aliens even have wallets. Yeah, that's a question we should be asking ourselves with this kind of game. Look at that ragdoll animation. <laughs> you all saw that. Oh, that was hysterical. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, did I get another? Yay, I got a card. Give me. I think after a while, like, you stop getting missions for each character. Clobber them all, all right. I'm not really going to say the titles because I know my viewing audience, for the most part, can read. For those of you who can't, that's okay, because sometimes I'll say the title, and that should be good enough. Yeah, and these first two missions only take place on the bridge, You're and... It's clobbering time. Yeah, these first two missions take place on the... Oh, I gotta kill them all within a minute. Or so. Alright. Where are you? There you are! Hit them while they're down. He just, like, flipped the table on that. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, 5 out of 13. All right, this should be hard. And a lot of these missions can be repetitive from what I remember, but, again, you do have fun. You do learn to... <laughs> that camera angle, though. <laughs> I think the entire time the thing is just like, what the hell? Oh, no, I got him in. Ten seconds left or something. Eight, six. I just love the ragdoll animation for this. Just goes a limp and they just... Oh, hey, three more. All right, where are you guys? Catch! Well, he's dead. Ooh, two left. 
You were a boss before, and now you're just a heavyweight. Which I think a lot of video games do nowadays. Starts off as boss? Alright, I'm gonna make this joke right. Where are you? Beep beep, mother truckers! Oh, that's gonna blow. Oh, it's gonna blow up like Michael Bay. It's gonna... Oh, all that Michael Bay. Are you still alive? You just take care of that. And bam. Bam. Just down there. Uh, Michael Bay it! There we go. Now that intro thing that he does where he says clobber in time can actually be replaced with something else, and during the versus mode, they have intro taunts and outro taunts. Broken things. Alright, defeat all my enemies with a uh, health disadvantage, I believe is what this one is. So unless this is like... I breeze through all these missions. I think I'm just going to only have this episode be the thing missions, and the next episode is going to be just Wolverine missions. Unless I'm mistaken. You're about to have a bad day. It's clobbering time. Is it? I think you need to ask yourself that question, the thing. Is it clobbering time? Nope, you're not allowed to catch that. Okay. It's going to be like that today. I don't understand why that didn't work, but oh well. I'm just gonna take this. No. No. That sun's gonna blow. Ah, oh, Michael Bay. If only you were involved in this project, you would have enjoyed it. Nope, curb stomped. Do I have rage again? This is gonna be fun. I make God knows how many references to Michael Bay already. Ouch. This is swatting at these guys. They know their lives are insignificant, but they're trying to fight me anyway. Nope. Now, as a character, as a playable character, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the thing, probably because I'm not the biggest fan of the Fantastic Four. But he's not really a bad character, but what is a raven? I think they're the things that can shoot still. There you are! Is it dead? Yay! Now, when it comes to Marvel versus DC, I do kind of prefer Marvel, except for Batman, just because I like Batman's villains a little bit more than a lot of Marvel villains. Like, oh, uh, okay. Let me just... Let's take a look at the time. 18. Eh, we can... We can start Wolverine's first story mission, I guess. Good job, Wolverine. You got into some, something. Good for you. Now, the X-Men are pretty cool, and... Granted, I don't remember a lot of X-Men villains, but I would give X-Men props for being probably one of the more unique of the Marvel canon. Whatever. All right. So, Wolverine's a more medium character, whereas the thing, yeah, Wolvie can't pick that up even though he's got animantium for some reason. Don't ask questions. And his claws are part of the special attack. Like, normal just decking people in the face like the Canadian lumberjack he is. You're not getting away! Oh yeah, I can drop kick. Oh, or do that. Mm, that's fine. Now, one thing I will bring up is, on the Rage Mirror, you think Wolverine would fill up Rage pretty fast, given his... given what he does. Dad. Aw, you don't, can't disappear when I'm still trying to summarize your ragdoll animation. Hey, guys. How you doing? I got you a present. That guy's just walking through the fire like a box. Oh, yeah, I can twirl my claws like a... Oh, I can run really fast. Yeah, L makes you run really fast, or do whatever. Like, for people who can fly, because there are those types of people in this game. Rage! Yeah, I got me my claws. Who else wants to fight? Well, I can't pick that up. Uh, 
Ah, oh, there you are. Like the bodies at the block! Yeah, I'm bad with jokes. Anyway, I think mean, we've established this by now. And three duck. Okay! Alright. Nope, you're you're getting hurt. Get out of here. Yay! Oh hey, that force field went down. Yay me. Now one thing I will bring up. What's up with this sign right here? Resist what, per se? Now I can tell me what that's about. That'd be that'd be nice. Oh yes, this, so R and use R and B or a wall run off L and move. I'm gonna I'm gonna super jump. Ow! On fire. Oh hey guys. Let's just uh let's just see the wall run. <laughs> That's fantastic game mechanic. I I can also protect myself. Should have done that there. You killed your own guy, good for you. kind of gave up there. Ooh, you got swords. So do I. Remember that time Wolverine punched an alien in the face? So, like, is every Wednesday? <laughs> Totes. Alright, let me just check the time on here. Now, I'm definitely going to be recording, like, a couple of these episodes all at once, but I think I'm going to end this episode here, so... Ooh, house party, that's gonna be fun. Anywho, so this was Solomon Pleasant, and this was episode one of Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Solomon Pleasant signing off.